Welcome to my YouTube channel, guys. So, Nigerian actress Yvonne Jegede has spilled the beans regarding her failed marriage to actor Olakunle Abounds Fawali, whom she accused of being a deadbeat father. Before we continue, please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell as well. Thank you. So, in a chat with fellow actress Mercy Johnson during a recent episode of her cooking show, Yvonne Jegede or Lakunle has refused, claimed or Lakunle has refused to visit or support their son, Xavier, who celebrated his fourth birthday last month. Speaking on her failed marriage, the actress, who has never been tight lipped about it, said, First, I was scared. Marriage of not up to two years crashed, but I'm glad I left because if I had stayed back for what people would say, I would not be happy today. When Mercy asked if the estranged couple still communicate with each other, Yvonne said, Unluckily and I don't talk now. He doesn't call or talk to his son. It is funny how we once had a solid friendship aside the marriage, but I don't know how it all went off the radar. The first time he publicly accepted his son was when he was five months old, when I gave him an ultimatum that I'll remove his son and once the boy turns five. Thankfully, I had given him a compound name, Xavier Jegede Fawole, and I threatened that I'll remove the Fawole and leave just the Jegede since I'm solely raising him up. The 39-year-old also revealed that her ex-husband does not celebrate their son on his birthdays and has never called to ask after his well-being. Yvonne Jegede said he doesn't wish him happy birthday on his birthdays. He doesn't call him to ask after his well-being. He just doesn't care what he has son somewhere. Your gift is in my hand, yet you don't care. You see, one moment I dreaded the most is for my child to wake up one day and ask where is my father. And it has started happening. One day when he asked, I, I, I had to send messages to his siblings to ask him to come and check up on him. But it yielded no result. It was so bad that my father had to represent my son at school for Father's Day event they recently had. It was embarrassing for me, but I'm waiting to see when he will show up or if he will still till the boy turns 18. Yvonne and Olakunle got married in 2017 after a long-term relationship. In March 2018, the Gold Statue actress confirmed that her marriage to Olakunle Fawole was over in a chat with Paul's NG. Watch the video guys and please don't forget to drop your reactions and your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks you and have a nice day. Tell us, marriage, what happened? Ha! Now that question asked me! You know, see me, I know they talk bad about that whole thing. It was, it was a phase that I, I appreciated, that I experienced. But, see, I've had a bit. I don't want to talk about Can I ever talk this matter since it happened? Yes, I know. Yes, I never talk about this But, the whole point is, me, I'll be G. Be, I understand, you understand, but, you know, work out. It didn't work out. And we can't force it. We can't force it. I really don't want to talk about the problems that we had, but honestly, the maternal reached for where we did today, but we reached where we did today. It just didn't work out. I think we're on different pages. We're not even reading the same book in the first place. But I thought, I'm my guy. And people have asked me. Because you guys were best friends yeah, for, we're, we're very, for we're years. Yeah, we're very, very, very close for years. We're very close. I know. He had been through some of my relationships. I had been through some of his. I go call her, tell her, say, ah, get this guy where he does see me, he say he like me. Mm -hmm. I go ask him because I'm a very good guy. Guy, we get good mind. Let me be Maria. Get good mind. He gets sympathy. He gets humanity. He gets, he's just, he's just like a person he be. But I guess a person for another person, not be for me. So yeah. we got to go our separate ways. That's How it. did you feel when that happened? I asked that he's supposed to be cool. I know. Uh, first of all, I've been fear. My fear, first of all, grabbed grab me. I say, how I want to tell people, say, I don't want to do again. Marriage has never reached two years. Say, I know what. I don't see the future. Say, future not day. You understand? So, not to reverse. Come on for there. You hear me? In a society that you get judged yes. for saving Without yourself. Without even knowing what I went through, what was happening. I don't go through anything, no. You know, beat me. You know, do anything to me. We, you know, just, I don't wake up one day and say, this road, you know, will work. Make it go. I gotta go. And I'm glad I took that decision. 
I'll tell you about that. I'll never tell you that one. I'll tell you personally. Two days later, I got a message say, oh, can you just tell Xavier about his father? You know, just keep up the good work. You know, we're here to support you. That message threw me off. I'm like, okay. So you spoke to him. He was like, yeah, yeah, I did, I did. So clearly he doesn't want to come. Okay. Have in mind, and I told you before, and I told everybody, being black and taller, everybody that's been in my life, through him, my house is open for him. I know that part. Soft you know that taste. part. Me, I be, I be, I be G. I understand. My house is open for him. The gate is open for him. If he comes to the house, everybody knows that this man has his property in this house. No human being whatsoever should stop him from coming in. But he clearly doesn't want to, so that's where we are right now. And my son, my father went for Father's Day to represent my son's father the other day. It was quite painful, but he doesn't want to be involved. I'm sure because if I had stayed back just because of what people would say, I would not be happy today. A lot of people see me, even somebody here was saying, oh, Shaika, energy. I think my energy picked up. You know, say before the shame, I know they picked up. Yeah, because even when I first call you, my mom see, you know, because I say, nah, me, I, I said, do that one. Mad, I did they, I did, they, I did fear, I did, hide. I, did, yeah, I did hide from people. But I guess since after then, it's been, what, three years, four years? I'm just living life, honey. And what's your relationship with him like? We don't talk. Your son? He doesn't come around. Oh, honey, I'm going to talk about him. Sorry. He doesn't call, doesn't do nothing. Now, I don't know what it is that could cause a friendship because apart from the marriage, we had a good, very solid friendship. I think me, I still look at that friendship and, and believe this thing where we experience now, no suppose. At least that friendship where we get it's supposed, supposed to, to come for something. Yes. We could not milk yes. going in oh, so nice. we can have more time. And, um, you know, the call. Reacting to the news, Hanichi said some men think not taking responsibility for their children is punishment to their ex. Lord, have you seen how smart this generation of kids are? You won't have anyone in your corner at 70. Osime said, I can imagine the emotional trauma, the sacrifices and everything she must have gone through. Kudos to single mothers striving so hard and doing it for their kids all alone. May you always get all the help and favor you need to go through. Okay. Uh, Diagram said the courage she took to say this shouldn't be taken for granted. Single mothers go through a lot. To raise a child is not a joke. Okay. Ozio Mago said, Lord, what's the son is still doing there? There's no reason a child whom you intentionally refuse to raise should bear your name. He should bear his mama's name only, except things change for the better. Okay. J for Jayana said, How people go from being best friends to small sworn enemies will always be a misery. You have a problem with her, but your child did absolutely nothing to you. Be involved in your child's life. He didn't ask to be born. Okay. Then Lady Skin said, Let's say you have issues with your spouse or partner. Please be a responsible father. You both brought a child to the world. Don't take out the mother's sin on the child, please. Think of tomorrow, not today. Thank you so much for watching and please kindly subscribe. Thank you.